Hi there, everyone. My name is Ashley Hunt. I'm the Senior Project Management Instructor here at Stormwind Epic Live. And in the course of our PMP exam prep class, we talk about some things that are on the exam but are not found in the PMBOK guide. So I thought I'd put a blog together about one of those topics that you will see on the exam, but you can't find in the PMBOK. And that's going to be the human motivation and the gurus that started it all. It's important to be able to understand the different theories that you're working within in order to truly understand how to answer questions on the PMP exam. So some of the folks that we'll be talking about are probably pretty familiar to you. You've got Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, McGregor, Hertzberg, McClelland, and Vroom. So this blog is just going to be just a short overview about these gurus and their individual theories. And we'll start with Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs starts down at the bottom with physiological needs, all humans needing air, food, and water. Once we get that, we can move up to the safety rung, which is freedom from harm, and in this day and age, job security. Once we have those things, we can focus on esteem, belonging, love, and so on, all of those things that make us human. And once we reach the pinnacle of that self-actualization, then we're no longer being driven by needs, we're merely driving the own, our own train in the direction that we want it to go in. So Maslow, very popular, at least everybody will get one question on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The next theory that I want to talk about is McGregor's theory X and theory Y. Basically, McGregor felt that managers fell into two different categories. Theory X managers believe that the average person dislikes work but they want that job security, so they must be micromanaged. Whereas theory Y managers are more participative. They don't micromanage. They believe people are there to seek and accept responsibility and that they are committed to the objectives. Clearly two very different extremes in management styles, but let's face it, some people do need to be micromanaged and others don't. So that's McGregor's theory X and theory Y. The next theory that we talk about in class is Hertzberg's theory of hygiene. And basically this has to do with the health of the organization needing to be intact in order to truly motivate with those motivators. So hygiene needs are things like work conditions. You make enough money that you can stay at the job, that you have time off and there's good policy. And once those things are in place and the organization is healthy, then you can truly motivate with things like reward and recognition, achievement, promotions, personal growth, and so on. So Hertzberg said organizations need to be healthy before you can motivate. David McClelland came along about the same time and ultimately broke things down into categories saying all of these things motivate human beings, but the individual is driven by one more than the other. We all have a combination, but if you're more achievement oriented, then you seek feedback. You like to work alone. You like pay for performance types of environments and you seek out training and other ways to develop so you can achieve, but you're a little bit low risk. Affiliation-oriented people just like people. They just want to work on teams. They want to be told that they're liked. They need that affirmation that they're doing a good job. Power-oriented people is broken down into two distinct categories. Institutional power, which is seeking higher positions, making decisions for the good of the organization, and thereby being lower on the affiliation end of things and personal power people, which McClellan looked at as a negative. This is people seeking to win at all costs. We all have pieces of this pie, but figuring out what our folks are and what's driving them the most can truly help us motivate them at the level that they need us to. The last one is Vroom's expectancy theory, and just to break it down to the very basic minimum that you'll need to know, is that everybody walks around with the expectancy that their efforts will result in the attainment of their desired performance goals. And when they perceive that that goal is far outreached and they can't get to it, then their motivation will become low. At the same time, that person believes that they will receive a, a reward 
of some kind if that performance expectation is met and the valiance or value that they place on that reward has to be met as well. So what Vroom was basically saying for we managers is you've got to set good expectations, help your folks be successful and provide reward and recognition that they find valuable but spell it out so they know for a fact that that's what's going to happen. If you do this, you will get that. Hopefully this helped as a high level overview of the gurus that you will see on the PMP fifth edition exam and as a good overview if you're gearing up for your exam. Until then, I hope it helped and I will see you in class.